Hello and welcome. This is Rick Baxter with Cost Control Software. We're going to take a look today at engineering change management and I'm going to get right into it. So I keep my uh, change orders uh, here under product design. You'll see it here. So I've got actually three different levels of changes. Uh, we have what are called change notices, change requests, and change orders, all engineering change uh, changes. Uh, I'm going to start with the engineering change notices, which is the earliest um, point in which uh, something potentially could be changed on a bill of materials. This is all about bill of material uh, management. I've got several samples here in my engineering change notices, and let's, I'm just going to pull up this one here, 17, so I'm going to go into edit mode. We'll take a look at some of the information that we capture on this engineering uh, uh, change notice. Now this is the notice, this is not the uh, change order. So uh, what we first of all reference is the uh, current bill of material. So you can uh, go to the current bomb version and see what is in version, in this case version 1. It is certified and I can see the components in that uh, version. What I might want to suggest is that uh, down here in the important line items is uh, we've uh, noticed that the chain is uh, faulty and needs to be replaced. So uh, you kind of can put in uh, whether you are uh, recommending that you add something, remove something, or change something in the um, in your existing uh, bill of material. And this is how you kind of document this process. Now I will mention, uh, by the way, that um, depending on the structure of your business and how um, detailed you want this to be, you could send this off for an approval. So you could send this to the NAV approval system and uh, have somebody review your request. So if this was a new one that you've just put in, they could review this request to replace the faulty piece. and. Um, and then they could approve approve that change before you make it into a uh, to the next level, which is the request. In fact, let's go there now, and we'll take a look at what these requests look like. So I'm going to go to requests, bring that up. So these are the variety of requests that are in the system. Let's just bring one up, take a look at it. There is one change that happens now at the request level. And this is an important difference. We had previously the active version, but now we have a proposed bill of material version. And this is version 3 in my sample here. The point being that the engineers have gone to the, in fact if I move it over a little bit here, they've gone into the production bill of material area and added a new uh, bomb version. In fact I can, I can navigate to it from here so we'll just do that so you can see it and let's just take a look at it we'll edit this so what they're proposing in this newer version okay and it's still it's not certified yet this version number three it's just new and it is uh, for basically three chains so we're upping the quantity of a part Okay, we could actually delete the part and put in something else depending on whatever changes that you want to make to the bill of material. But this is what we're kind of proposing at this stage. It's not certified, remember, that we're going to go with three chains instead of the original one chain on the original uh, item. Okay, so you can see that pretty clearly right from the um, engineering change request. Again, this could go through the approval process uh, if you wanted to have um, some upper management review this work before it's uh, made into a change order. Uh, and the next step, obviously, well, it's not always obvious, but the next level is the actual change order itself. So when uh, the when it's approved and it comes into the change order, now what we're going to be doing is getting really to the point where we're ready to post this and make this into a um, the new uh, bomb version. So here is where we could come in and we could post 
the change. So once all the provers have uh, completed their work, and I'm unfortunately not going to cover that in this particular video, um, they would then um, you would then have this document ready to be posted. And basically, what you're doing is you're finalizing or you're actually you're certifying that this proposed bomb becomes the actual um, version that you're going to be using from that point forward. By the way, you can set an effective date as far as when to implement this. So you may not want to uh, do this immediately. You could do it as of an effectivity date. You could set the date to some future date out here. And then when you post it, it will set that as the date that the bill of material uh, becomes effective on future builds. Okay, so the whole process here is to be able to document. So we're replacing the defective chain. You can put in comments as to uh, why you made changes. So there's line comments. There's also comments uh, up in the header area here under, let's see, where's the comments? Right there is comments. This is related, uh, comments related to the um, overall engineering change order. So understand uh, it's, it's it's pretty quick little review but the uh, the process is pretty straightforward you put in a notice first then a request it can be moved and changed to a request and then finally into a change order which is the last step which once that is posted here under post then it becomes the um, current a bill of material. You can optionally use the approval system. We do use the in the NAV 2016. By the way, I am showing this with uh, NAV 2016. Well, you do use the uh, new workflow and approval system uh, within the 2016. Do give us a call if you have any questions or need assistance with that portion of the software. Uh, hope you like this uh, functionality and uh, will help you manage your uh, engineering change orders for your bill of materials. Thanks so much.